The Empire Strikes Backyard, the last film, was a highly successful Star Wars spoof. So much so it won the People's Choice Best Film Award, despite having a measly budget of just £900. It was certainly a feat, given that they were competing against films produced across the world, which cost up to £20,000. This year, Doom Raiders has come to Cyprus, a parody of the Indiana Jones trilogy. It's all about a race against time to stop the soul and body of a pharaoh uniting, which if it did would result in the end of the world. Again, the budget was minimal, but despite this, they still managed to achieve some remarkably innovative high-tech. The plot on that was devised by Backyard Productions. We um, then all get, sit around together, or over the internet sit around, um, and discuss the plot, find details, and we write the script together, bash the idea. It takes about three months of arguing to, uh, to get it sorted out. A huge amount of time and effort has been ploughed into the production, much of which was filmed at an abandoned village at Paramali. The core members of the cast are based in the UK, and all 15 of them flew out especially for the two-week filming stint. I basically play a multitude of roles. Um, I play Mustafa in the, in the film, uh, Bradley Stone's close friend and guide. I also, on the technical side of things, do a lot of set building, set designing. I've actually been placed as lead set builder designer, so in charge of a, a team of sort of hard-working souls up to the early hours of the morning and getting up again at crack of dawn building everything you see in the village which wasn't already here. Obviously the set is not like we have here, there's so many props and that's why I've been coordinating, getting all the props in Cyprus that we can provide. Lots have come from UK but we've got a lot in from Cyprus, from um, a car right the way down to you know pots and pans on the stalls. It's been very exciting, one or two people have generated a lot of excitement and that's been contagious and everybody's just you know, thrown themselves into it, it's been really good fun. Certainly the scenes were colourful, the costumes authentic, and with horses trailered in from the local riding school, there was plenty of opportunity to shoot some effective action scenes. Bradley, For many of the cast, Bradley. it was simply the ideal opportunity to dress up. It's good fun, really exciting. Opportunity to do something that you don't normally do every day, like wear this outfit. <laughs> We're all amateurs. Started off when Darren was 18, I think, with a little camcorder in his mum's back garden. And when we got married, of course, I got roped into it. And we're still all a bunch of amateurs, though just doing what we're talented at. Filming's now finished, but the work is far from over, and it'll take five months of serious editing before the premiere. And with all the costumes being sent to refugees from Afghanistan, there will at least be more than one positive outcome of the production.